Good morning, Kia e Nero Diaries. 7.30 in the morning and it's another Bordeaux Airport run on the 9th of May. And it's really sunny, but it's only eight and a half degrees. Really chilly. Now, uh, battery degradation and uh, range loss. Not the same thing. So we just charged to 100%. It's a cold morning. Um, let's see what happens when I power up. Um, there we go, 516 kilometres of range. Now, the last few weeks it's been fairly warm during the day and we've been doing um, mostly local trips, a few longer trips, but uh, all on sort of, you know, no motorway driving. And we've been getting sort of... Um, numbers like 11, 12 um, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So, you know, comfortably four and a half miles, I guess, to the kilowatt hour. Um, and uh, when I did this trip a few months back, uh, well, in the winter, uh, charging to 100% was getting me like 480, 470, 480 kilometers. Now, 516. Now, this isn't the highest we've ever seen it. But, I mean, as I say, it's, it's cold this morning and um, with no heating or AC on, we're seeing 516 kilometres. So, look, this car's six years old now. It's done 100, just coming up to its 120,000 service, which will be in about 10 days' time. Um, but I'm not seeing any range loss. This is the thing. There's a battery buffer. Um, there which um, you know of about three and a half kilowatt hours which uh, probably we haven't used up yet but uh, say over 500k now we won't get that today uh, going down to um, Bordeaux and back it's 375 kilometer round trip um, so I think it's more realistic to say, to say that the real world range this time of year is probably about 450 Okay, but you know, interesting to see. Anyway, see how we go. So I'm at um, Bordeaux Airport now. Um, just dropped Mrs. E. Nero off. She's going to Switzerland for about four or five days to see the grandkids. Um, so I'll be back here again to pick her up. Today's Friday. I'll be back in next Wednesday. So we've done 184.6 kilometres getting down here. Two hours, 20 minutes of driving. It's pretty busy on the Bordeaux Ring Road. Um, and the GOM is saying 321 kilometres left. Now, that does imply a range of 505 kilometres. So it's showing, what was it, 516 this morning. It's warmed up a bit. It's 17 degrees now. So it'll be interesting to see what I get going back. I always seem to use more going back when I think the um the gom's not very accurate when you get into the sort of bottom half of the battery but i'm not going to charge this time i'm probably going to stop because it's a lot of driving and um i've got a sandwich i'll stop and just um have a rest um so there's another 184 kilometers to get home we'll see how we go oh and the battery is showing 64 percent so we're showing 64 percent remaining having done 184 kilometers and say 321 on the gone so just having a little stop um, on the n10 it's about 50 kilometers north of bordeaux uh, we normally plug in here because there's a whole row of Ionity chargers, but uh, I just can't be bothered today. Need to do it in the winter just to make absolutely sure of getting home. But I haven't run the battery down much below 30, 35% for months. So I thought, yeah, let's um, let let's just go all the way home. Um, so I've been driving for three hours, 20 minutes, and although we do a did a quick turnaround at the airport I just think it's a lot of driving just had a stop for 20 minutes have a sandwich um, and wander around a bit it's a lovely stopping place nice big oak trees all over the place um, so 
Yeah, got a hundred and forty still to do with two hundred and fifty six showing on the GOM um, and battery fifty two percent and thirteen point eight kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. Say it's um CN10 so max speed is 110 which I just set the cruise control up and uh, yeah it's going to be about another hour and a bit to get home because the last 15 kilometers is all you know back to our house is all on um, tiny little uh, rural roads so um, yeah another hour and a half I think. So back home again, um, I'm going to do the um, realistic range calculation in four different ways. Um, firstly, um, distance driven plus what is the GOM is telling me. Um, so that's 370.6 kilometers driven in the round trip. And the GOM is saying 76 are remaining. So that implies a range of 446 to 447. There's another way of doing it where you look at the round trip efficiency, which was 4.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Divide that into 64 kilowatt hours, and I'm assuming I've still got a 64 kilowatt hour battery there that's available to me, and that comes out almost exactly the same, 447 kilometers. Now the other way gets a little bit more interesting because I got home uh, with telling me I had 18% battery left. So that must mean that I've uh, used 82% of the battery to cover 370.6 kilometers. And if you do the math on that, that says you've got a range of 452 kilometers. It's a little bit higher, five kilometers higher than the other two ways of doing it. But I think more realistic is to do the other way around. Look at the battery percentage remaining, which is 18, and divide that into the uh, what the GOM says in terms of kilometers remaining, 76, and then multiply it back up what 100% what will give you. Well, that only gives you 422 kilometers. And to be honest, on a journey like that, uh, I think that's probably more realistic, 422 kilometers. Uh, but then again, you know, that's pretty much what um, the car was, I think, in the UK in, in, in the USA when it was first sold. It was given a WLTP range of about 250 miles, 252 miles, I think it was. And say my worst case of the four different ways of calculating um, the range based on my journey today is saying you know about 261 miles so there we go and you think well what's all the point of this I've done a uh, Bordeaux round trip many times but I think it's interesting to see you know what's actually happening to the battery am I seeing degradation well there must be degradation as I said at the beginning of the video uh, the car's six years old um, it's probably been plugged in, I don't know, 500, 600 times now, and there's calendar aging to consider. Um, but, um, you know, when I charge to 100%, depending on the, the driving I've been doing previously, uh, I'm still seeing pretty much what I did when the car was new. And let's say 500 and something kilometers, unless you're just driving around locally on nice warm days, it's probably not realistic. Anyway, hope you found that interesting. Um, until the next time.